The following podcast contains spoilers and adult language. Listener discretion is advised. Greetings from Tromaville. This is Lloyd Kaufman, president of Troma Entertainment and creator of the Toxic Avenger. And, uh, you know, folks, when we're not making those great Troma movies like Tromeo and Juliet and Return to Newcomb High, Volume 1 and Volume 2, the Troma team and I like to kick back and listen to the best podcast in the world, The Showdown, because The Showdown is the most educational the most emotional and the most intelligent and the most entertaining podcast in the entire world. The Showdown Podcast presents The Survivor Series with Corey Miller, Vic Miller, and Brad Scott. This week's episode, King Kong vs. Godzilla. Welcome to the Showdown Podcast. This is an award-winning podcast. Three times over. I am uh, joined, as always, by Vic. Man, this movie was pretty racist. (laughs) Miller. I concur. And Corey. Man, this movie wasn't nearly racist enough. Miller. I had a feeling you're going there. And I am Brad King Kong ain't got shit on me, Scott. And this again is the Showdown Podcast. And we are gonna be talking about God King Kong versus Godzilla. And uh before we get into that, before we get into the show today, uh I want we were talking about this is this is off air. I'm bringing on air. I've yet to re- I've yet they've neither of them know what I'm about to talk about. This could be dangerous. Yeah. But I found it uh, very interesting. I'm concerned. Okay. So we're like you guys. We're just, when, if you see a movie, you know, uh, you like that you're listening to, you're probably going out and seeking it. You probably look Netflix first, Hulu, Amazon, blah, blah, blah. And usually we can find uh, all of our movies pretty easily. Um, in fact, I think it's probably a smart thing that we do is we may, we do movies that are, Free or easily accessible because Corey ain't going to pay shit for this show. <laughs> I, I tend to uh, look and see what's on my shelves and say, okay, we're doing this one. Yeah, so we, uh, but you, I mean, every now and then we get a weird one where there's some strange way you have to watch it uh, or a strange version. Like No Retreat, No Surrender, wasn't that like, weren't we watching it from like somebody else's TV? Yeah. <laughs> like it was through a, a camcorder on a TV? It was, right. Yeah, it was on YouTube. Well, that's what... But yeah, I mean but the yeah. video on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. The quality of the video was, the qu- was yeah, fan, which is which is which is funnier and more of a point to what I'm talking about than just mentioning the website it's on. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of movies are on YouTube. Yes, including this movie, mm-hmm. which the only version you can find, and I mean find find because it wasn't on. I've Comcast has a very thorough on demand library. I mean, pretty much almost any movie we've had lately. Yeah. I found on there, and I can usually rent for like three bucks. This one was not there. No. It was not on Hulu. It was not on Netflix. It wasn't even on Amazon. It, was on, it wasn't on Amazon Prime. It was yeah. It was it was nowhere to be found except for one version on YouTube. And if you've if you've if you've gone to try to find this movie, you probably have already, you already know what we're probably talking about because it's probably the only version you could find as well. It's a very strange dubbing. Mm-hmm. Okay, because. The Asian actors and Asian dialogue is then dubbed into Asian, <laughs> like into Japanese. Yeah. And then they do like the Americans, the Americans but the Americans speak English. But their li- their dialogue doesn't match their lips. No, yeah. And then, yeah, like it's, so who is this for? But then the subtitles. Oh yeah, the subtitles are, all, are in, in Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> Baby, but who is this for? 
Why why is it dubbed in Japanese? Why why is the original which was Japanese dubbed in Japanese but just like a more stereotypical sounding Japanese? I wonder if this version if the audio was just a little off and it wasn't actually dubbed in Japanese but it was actually in Japanese but because of their audio the syncing it just nah, made man. it look bad. Man, they, they, if, if it was done it was done on purpose. Dude like, that, it was yeah. it, man, it was way too stereotypical. Yeah. You it know, was, oh, like yeah. sounding. It was not. That was not Japanese. That was not the original. <laughs> it's a, but my thing is, when you when you dub a movie, like they when they when I had it as a when I oh, we get into more of this later. I had it when I was a kid on VHS. It was dubbed into English right. mm-hmm. for Americans to watch. Yeah, right. they have Japanese and English. In the, so who is this for? <laughs> is what I'm saying. I, Why you usually don't have two different languages in a in a in like a dubbing because that's the whole point. Well, but you have to remember though, if, if it was originally made, which it was for the Japanese market, uh-huh. most of them know English. Like by five or six, most Japanese kids know English. So that little bit of English that was in there mm-hmm. would be just enough for them to kind of get what's going on, even if they weren't fluent in it. So it's still actually probably meant for the Japanese, you know, audience. All right, fair enough. Um, but now, okay, this is what I, this this is what I wanted to talk about. This is all that was all just the setup. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I wanted to talk about. This is going deep. Oh boy! What? Right before we were getting ready to record, this, I have a feeling this is about me. We were talking about how, uh, how we watched this movie, and Corey. Yep. Says. Uh, yeah, it was it was really hard to figure out what was going on and follow, right, Vic? Yeah, that's what he literally said less than five minutes ago. Am I correct? You are. Now I'm going to read you a Facebook message that Corey sent to our group message Sunday, one forty four. <laughs> this is in response to my text half hour before that. Uh, when he asked if I'd watch, if, you know, did you watch King Kong vs. Godzilla? I put not yet. How do I find it? The only one I found on YouTube was a different language with a different language subtitle. His response at 1.44 on Sunday. I'm watching on YouTube. It's in Japanese except when the Americans are on and in Spanish subtitles. I have no other option and I can follow along easy. Okay, maybe I'm so what changed because you sounded like you were watching currently at that time. I was. So what changed that all of a sudden it became so much more difficult? I misspoke today. Leave me alone. You misspoke. <laughs> no, you lied. I'm sick. You no, lied no, to no. fit the current it narrative. Lie. It wasn't a lie. No, I'm just sick. It was an alternative fact. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's an alternative fact. There you well go. done. Well done. Okay, I just I thought that was interesting. How literally... Literally Sunday afternoon, that was what he was saying. Oh, so easy because I remember when I was watching. I was like, he can go fuck himself. This is, <laughs> I I remember this. I knew this movie as a kid, inside and out, and yeah. I could like things were coming back to my memory and stuff. But even I was still like, holy fuck, what is going on? The version that I watched, it, it didn't have subtitles at all. So like, I literally just watched it. And then, like when the when the people would talk, like I could see what's going on. Well, no, I mean, like, but like, yeah, like we we were watching with Spanish subtitles, yeah, so, so it's not like we had a leg up on you. Well, no, but I'm just sitting there going, I'm like, there's no way to really do this other than to just, well, know, no, yeah, I would take it in. I was know? like, I was thinking, I was like, how did he follow this? <laughs> what is, what kind of skill? He has no skills of perception on our show. Where, where are these? <laughs> where did these all of a sudden come Secretly, from? Secretly, he knows Spanish. I, I I understood a few of the words that I saw come across the screen. Very few. You, you know what? You know what? You know what? Yeah, I, I, no, no, I, 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 damn it, Vic. <laughs> God damn it. You couldn't give me two seconds How to go. Oh, I was to know that's what you were going to say. Because just was, I did not sound like I was setting up a joke. Yep. Oh, Vic. Oh, we got you. When you listen, go listen back to this part of the episode. Oh, I will. And because, man, if you just would have waited two seconds for me to go, oh, Corey, the only thing that you recognized was. Oh uh, well, you know what? Uh, I'm on. so upset. Hold no, on, hold on, I would have checked this first, but I would. Yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> but no, but you, but you don't. No, you know what? You shit. You know what? You oh, know here what? Here comes what? Hold on. This is. Fun. Are you looking for this? <laughs> no, I'm looking for this. <laughs> uh, if you just would have given me two seconds 
to be to be like, oh, Corey, the only thing you recognize was. It would have been so much funnier than you have. just saying Godzilla. It would have, however. You going to the obvious joke first, but if I went to the obvious joke, the difference is I had a sound clip for it. I was Vic. about to say, so your obvious joke. Yeah, it was better. better than my it was much joke, more showy. Funny yeah, it was much oh, more showy. God. It wasn't me I saying it. It's Godzilla. You could have just you way better thrown it in on me though. Uh, you weren't prepared. See, if I had started saying it and you hit the Godzilla, I would have stopped. Naturally, because I stop when you do that. Unfortunately, what the listener doesn't get to see is I'm sitting between the two of you, and this is like a tennis match. <laughs> He's like, Mom, Dad, stop fighting. <laughs> so this is the showdown podcast. <laughs> and, well, we uh, give Corey shit nonstop. <laughs> we, we, so we, we, we did this movie. I, was, I, found, I thought it was a strange choice. This is Corey's choice, right? No, this was your choice. This was my choice? Yes, it was. And I picked to play. To <laughs> do right, no. Yeah. Vic. Give it to me. Yeah, that's I. I must have been super high or drunk. Yeah, probably so. Now, Be- mind you, I'm go. I remember the conversation that this came from, and it stemmed from Corey going, "We should do a guy. We should do a King Kong movie mm-hmm. because the movie's coming out." And your response was King oh. Kong versus Godzilla, <laughs> since, since that's inevitably going to happen. So okay, so, so, so okay, so Corey also gets. <laughs> We, hey, I didn't pick this one. I would at least pick the one with uh, with Jack Black in it. I would at you, least pick that. You know what? You, you know what? It up. No, but you know what? You both get. <laughs> Quit giving away your goddamn thoughts on the movie before we even talk about it. That's what, what? we do after the commercial. Eh, we're not giving away any thoughts. No. Really? Yep. Okay. I don't feel like I was either. So yeah, we're both against you on this. Yeah, one. I feel like you were. Nope. Okay. No, All right. So I'll let's be, move I'll on. I'll be against him with you though. Let's <laughs> move on. So <laughs> I'll play both sides of the table. So <laughs> when I when I suggested that we do King Kong versus Godzilla, I thought it was an odd choice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we it made me think like about other versus movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've had, you know, I think probably the most popular ones: Freddy versus Jason, mm-hmm. your Alien versus Predator. Uh, Vic, do you have? Did you find any more? Um, they're crappy, but we have. Um, well, Kramer versus Kramer. Wait, that's like a. It's, that's not a. It's the. That's a drama. Oh it's the God, list, dude. God, Vic, no, I'm, no, I'm no, no, Vic, no, no, Vic, no, no, Vic, no. I did telling you monsters versus aliens. Uh, Vic, I didn't want. I didn't want. Just uh, movies that have verses in the title. Look, I was, wanted movies that okay. had iconic characters let versus me, each other. Let me explain this to you, and this is why I Kramer versus Kramer. Is, neither of them were on. Neither of them are the Kramer from Seinfeld. Let me. So t- that movie is out. <laughs> I thought that's what it was. No, let me let me clarify myself. I am saying this because there are literally no good lists online of movie like versus movies that we would like normally think of for part of this show they're kind of sporadically mixed in with all of the ones that are actually just versus movies like x versus sever like it's there's just nothing really there that makes uh, other than what you just said those are the only true iconic ones on any of these lists then why wouldn't you have just said there's not really any because I instead of giving us how Kramer- bad, because i wanted to preface how bad the list is the first one you said I Kramer versus you kramer to see how bad the list is <laughs> Literally, because everyone you just named are the only ones that are on that list. All right. Well, good thing me and you arguing is good content because <laughs> otherwise we had nothing. However, King Kong versus Godzilla is actually on the list, so that makes that that at least puts that there. It's somewhat iconic. I think it is. I, I just think that's that, the building are, scene is iconic. Mm-hmm. Both of those characters are iconic enough to to carry their own titles and then adding them together and actually well we're doing this because the new one's coming out yes. the new king kong comes out is it this week or next week uh next it's this weekend this weekend mm-hmm. i think i'm gonna go see it saturday that's probably a longer movie too right probably yeah i got i'm in brighton michigan they don't give me a hotel they're two nights they don't I'm give you a hotel no um and the pay is shit too uh but you know I can sell a lot of T-shirts, so I can usually make that money you better, back. You better get on uh, on uh, Craigslist for that area and just be like, "Need one night group." Fuck no, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Gonna find myself like a like a like a Holiday Inn or something like cheap, that. That's Motel cheap. Six, yep. <laughs> but now, yeah, I mean, some yeah, Motel Six is a good one around there. Yeah, it's not um, I don't because I won't do like dirt 
Oh, hell ones because I'm like, ah, I'm not going to get robbed or sleep in semen. <laughs> not a, not carry a black old semen. Carry a black <laughs> Anyways. Just in case. <laughs> but um, I'm going to go. Yeah, I got I to gotta kill all day Saturday because I'm just going to get the hotel for Friday and drive home after the show Saturday. So I'll check out of the hotel late, like at one. And then uh, I might go see this movie. But anyways, that's that's the reason we're doing this episode. Mm-hmm. Um. And now we're going to have another Godzilla movie after this King Kong movie. And yes. then we'll be setting up King Kong versus Godzilla, which they're going to apparently redo mm-hmm. in uh, 2020. I don't know what the year is. but I think it's 2020. And we'll be able to actually watch that one without any yeah. problems. Because <laughs> it'll all be in English. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> If they just decided to do a Japanese <laughs> subtitle <laughs> or Japanese <laughs> uh, dub, yeah, and then just put Spanish subtitles in all the theaters, that'd be hilarious. What the what the hell is this all about? I didn't want to come to a movie and read it. <laughs> if I want to read a book, I'd stay at home. You know what? <laughs> One of the best jokes you've ever had. I don't know if that's saying a lot about you or he, he was the bar. Dig- he was digging into his roots. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, uh, so there's no other good versus movies. Uh, the new one's coming out. Are you guys looking forward to the new King Kong movie? Not really. It's got Samuel Jackson and I'm in. Just I am because. because I love these kind of movies. Yeah. Um, why aren't you? I'm ju- I've just never been a King Kong or a Godzilla fan. It just never, it's never really been my thing. I mean, I'll watch them just if there's nothing else on. Like, there was one Saturday uh, L. Ray Network was showing Godzilla movies. Like I think this was around Thanksgiving, maybe Christmas. They were just showing them all day long. So I watched like one or two Godzilla movies, but it was just because there wasn't anything on. It was a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. So I just had it on. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I wonder, though, if they're going to do the same thing with like, is King Kong going to be the face? Is Godzilla going to be the heel? Is King <laughs> Kong going to be the good guy? In this go around as well, I would think Kong has to be the good guy. Just my theory, because it seems like Godzilla always, is always the one that just destroys everything, and doesn't give a shit. Yeah, the only I, I I'm gonna wait to see how they play out this Kong movie. See if they if he ends up staying on the island or like going back to the island, because it could be that they have Godzilla shows up on his island and he fights him off, which would mean it would be like. He would be the, what do you call it, the face? Mm-hmm. So he would be the face and Godzilla would be the heel, but Godzilla would only be the heel because he's just trying to find somewhere to fucking go to sleep for the night. <laughs> Here's the thing, like, I thought they really, I don't know, I, I was disappointed with the with the first Godzilla movie, the new one. Ooh, I was going to say, they which use one? the new Godzilla or the old Godzilla? What do you mean? You mean the one from a couple years ago? Well, from a number. Well, yeah. It'll be that Godzilla. Yeah, because right? it's a cinematic universe that they started. Okay, so, okay. Because oh, everything apparently know. now has to be part of a cinematic of universe. Course. They can't have a fucking movie <laughs> come out without it being, like, I'm surprised we don't have, like, a cinematic universe between Moonlight and, uh... About Twilight and something else. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Well, that would have been... That well, that, you know, that might, that's really strange. I was trying to think of another just, like, indie artsy movie. I was going to say, like, The Room or something. Oh. You went with uh, Twilight, so we have we have a gay black child and a gay teen vampire. <laughs> Moonlight and Hidden Treasures. Ah, there you go. Corey's yeah. just thinking of all the movies he knows that black people in them. <laughs> there are a lot this year. That's what he's thinking. Um, None of them won. But no, everything has to be part of a cinematic universe, so we're going to have, you know, yeah, we're going to have the big collision. I'm looking forward to that. Because I think that's just going to, you know, it's always interesting to me. I love that kind of shit. I know some people think it's, you know, uh, it's just the ruining it's, it. They don't have any good, original ideas. It's well, good entertainment, though. Like just Throughout the years, we've all run out of original ideas. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Hollywood has, done, has for years. When's the last time you saw a truly original exactly. show or movie these days? It's all it has the same undertones even, even even the movies that everybody sits there and praises those are taken from older older movies that they don't even know about so it's like just calm down calm down we gotta get into this or what uh <laughs> well hold on i want to actually uh i, I want to put that theory to the test because i wonder about that Which when people say that there's um there's never originality left you know in uh hollywood I mean, Zootopia. 
Ah. Uh, which you one? might be right. Which, yeah. <laughs> Based on like, I'm just looking at 2016 movies. I was just trying to ten Cloverfield Lane. That's very original. It was original, Split. but it's also a sequel. Oh, go fuck yourself! It's a sequel because they added five minutes at the end just to try to help it sell better. I'm, that was all marketing I'm, design. I'm just saying. Um. Okay, Ghostbusters. It was a reboot. God damn it! That was the joke. No. Just let it sit for a second. My bad. Um. Solely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not. I'm running. I'm running out of steam. All right. I'm not doing well. So let's get into this. Uh, we have to do. Uh, do we do the history first, or do we do the history, money? History then money always. Okay. Okay. So you were wrong. Yeah, I'll cut right. that part out. Nobody this, will know. This is a this is a little uh, segment on the showdown that we like to call uh, Brad's going to inevitably hear a commercial to start off. Capital One created an app that gives you your credit score and real insights on how to improve it. What do you call it? Cre- and now the showdown podcast history. Corey. This was the first time I've watched it ever, ever. All right. Vic? Um, I remember seeing it probably when I was like 10 or 11 years old at like 5 o'clock in the morning. I woke up one morning and it was like on PBS or something silly. On but, uh, PBS? I don't know. It was on something, but I enjoyed it. I was obsessed with this movie when I was a kid. I owned it on VHS. I watched it all the time. I mean, I, my mom probably has to hate this movie <laughs> because of how many times she had to sit through it when I was a kid. If I had a version that had... English speaking, I would allow my daughter to see it and try to pass it on to another generation, but <laughs> it feels like this one just may be one that ends with me. This has been the Showdown Podcast History. All right, and so now, uh, maybe the most challenging, uh, the most challenging episode ever. Uh, what do we call this segment? I like how we never remember the name. <laughs> Vic, do you remember? Uh, how much did it make? How much did it make? So uh, this is a segment where we uh, ask, we give Corey the budget, the year, and the day it was released. And he decides how much money that movie made. Okay, I like this song. So this is how much did it make? All right, Corey. King Kong versus Godzilla. What was the budget? The hold on. We, let's do this in order. You just heard him tell you. Yeah. So, <laughs> so your role. I also want to let the money, money play over the background. It's a good ambiance. Sounds good to the listener. So let's slow down. All right. Right. So it released August eleventh, nineteen sixty two. And the budget was two hundred thousand dollars US. Wow. Five million Japanese. Wow. Mm. This is this is a difficult one. Summer blockbuster. You know, because I mean, it's August. I'm going to say. Characters. And I want an answer in both Japanese and American. Okay. <laughs> Let's go with 3 million American and 7.5 Japanese. Whoa, 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 whoa. 7.5 million? Yeah. Okay. But may I? Uh, yes, go ahead. Not even close. Bud. Well, we already established that the, it was going to be difficult. Well, so. but the best part is, is you you got it backwards. <laughs> Did I? Well, you said you to you the American version made a ton of money. Yeah, and the Japanese version barely made what it. No, what it's it at seven point five million. Barely yeah. made what it spit. It, the budget was five million. Oh, five million oh. Yen. oh I you thought it was seven yet. Seven okay, million. I got confused by that part. So well, that's um, why I gave it to you in American in U.S. dollars. I yeah. still fucked it up. 
so the U.S. take home was one point two five million. Hmm. The Japanese three hundred and fifty million. Wow. It, it, it's King Kong and God, it's Godzilla. Yeah, in Japan, dude. <laughs> yeah. It takes place there. Like people go there to go look. I could, that's where that's where I ride my bike every day. You know? <laughs> like it's it's one of those type of things. So all right, you failed again. Again, has uh, he gotten any of them right? Not even close. Even close? One, one. No. Here's what's gonna happen. One day he's gonna look, <laughs> and then he's gonna give an answer that's just <laughs> close <laughs> enough <laughs> to where he feels he should get credit for getting it right. But it but it'll be like. You know, it'll it won't be the exact number because he won't want to look like he looked it. Well, up. we told him a while back that he could be within like I think it was like a hundred or two hundred thousand wide. Well, but like I mean, that, so. we need to change that too because realistically, if the movie costs two hundred thousand, we shouldn't be giving them that much of a leeway. <laughs> like then it should be like, well, you get twenty thousand, like ten percent. Right, right. You get with them ten percent of the budget. I'm okay, so, <laughs> um, Vic, why don't you tell us about uh? King Kong versus God damn it. Oh, it's Godzilla. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, basically this movie is about commercial pharmaceutical companies not being able to make money, so they need a new representative for their company that will build their uh their their popularity <laughs> so the main character that gets the like the boss of this pharmaceutical company doesn't like the, the fact that they're losing money so they need something to boost sales and to boost popularity of their pharmaceuticals and he hears about this giant lizard thing and decides he wants to use that as his his go-to um Spokesperson? <laughs> Spokes lizard? Hi, I'm Godzilla. <laughs> I work for Big Pharma. <laughs> what was what was he selling? Um it, it's just it's a pharmaceutical company. I don't I don't remember. Okay, they didn't mention I, I can't remember yeah. if they mentioned any specific like drug or anything. Yeah. So um he sends two guys out to this island um to look for Godzilla. Um and while they're looking for them, um the Americans, uh I guess military Hold force, on real quick. Did you read the plot description before you watched it? No. So this is basically you learning all of this for the first yeah. time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the pharmaceutical thing was totally lost on me. <laughs> that, that's what I'm like. They, the, oh, the, the first like few minutes of the whole show is like that guy like filming. They the don't show either of the monsters till about 20 minutes in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they, they just kind of noticed they the iceberg tease is weird. Yeah. Um. So you also probably... Like that that was probably fucking with your head that scene where the two dudes like when they're when they're at the apartment or whatever with that chick and they like are outside the window and stuff you're probably like what the fuck are they doing Yeah yeah but when we get we'll get to that because I have thoughts on that from when I was a kid like something <laughs> jarred back in my memory from being a kid so go ahead Now also uh just to to bring this out is there was a the Japanese version of this movie was longer than the American version because there's actually parts that are left out and I don't know, like, oh God, do you remember? Do no, you... that's why. That's why it didn't all come together. Well, no, no. I was going to ask you a question. In the version that you had, was it like? Did you see the the scene where um, Godzilla like destroys the submarine and everything? Was that in the version you had? Or I you don't remember. Like... I was just wondering. Uh, yeah, I, it's been so. I mean, literally, this was VA, a VHS copy. Yeah, yeah. So, well, the Japanese version had an extra scene where basically Godzilla. Um, the submarine that was under that was under the water notices that there is a iceberg that's moving funny, and right. it's light. It keeps lighting up, and when they finally they they're they're going towards it, and it when it they get to it, it collapses, and basically Godzilla pops out of the iceberg. Yeah, but Wh- in the which Japanese is a very version, funny aerial shot. Yeah, yeah. In the Japanese version, it said that he he they tell you the background like he's been trapped there since 1955, and he destroys the submarine, and then like oh that's why the Americans get involved in the whole thing. Mm-hmm. In the American version, it's flipped, and that the submarine found the the iceberg. And then they brought in the military in the helicopter to look to see what was going on, and that's when Godzilla comes popping out of the ice and just like, yeah, I don't remember which version I had. Like, Motherfuckers, but... I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> so um, then we get, and that, like you said, it's twenty minutes into the storyline before we even see Godzilla. But there's oh, as Godzilla! soon as I get to Godzilla, there's 
there is the oh, scene. It's Gojira! He basically comes out and starts walking towards um, uh, Japan. Well, hold on. Before that, though, with the two... Because this becomes a huge thing later. The two guys have... They have that string. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? The, they, they're selling or they're, they, their company makes that whatever that string. It's like impossible to break. To break yeah. It's, it can hold anything. Now, this is what I was always confused as a, as a kid. All right, I get it. You got that string. How does it balance and flow in midair? Like you don't, you didn't tie it to anything. You just threw it into the sky, oh, and then yeah. you're hanging. Remember that scene where they're hanging when he was hanging outside the box. What's it hanging from? Yeah, he doesn't tie it to anything. I thought he had tied it to his waist and then tied it to the balcony and was just leaning back. No, he's hanging out there. You don't remember that? He was yeah. like literally hanging out there. This wasn't. No, no. Go back and look. It, it's like it, it's like there's an imaginary thing that he's tied it to. <laughs> and I remember as a kid always being like, "How the fuck is he doing that?" <laughs> I get it. It's super strong string, and I, I also understand this is a strange thing to point out as like a <laughs> as you know like unrealistic. Yeah. In the giant monkey versus giant lizard movie, but that's a question that needs to be answered. What's it tied to? So these yeah these guys uh it it almost starts off like it's gonna be uh like like uh like a Japanese perfect strangers. <laughs> like two, Just two bachelors. Two buddies. <laughs> yeah, out with big haired women and with the with one girl living with was, I didn't understand that. Did they did the one guy live with the chick and then he showed up then the second guy showed up? We're not gonna be able to get through this episode if you try to dissect everything like that because I'm neither none of us know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just roll with it. So uh, Godzilla get, frees himself, and he ends up going to it's the... Uh, after he destroys the uh, the submarine, he starts going towards the military base. And one of my favorite things in any Godzilla movie, actual Godzilla movie, original Godzilla movie, is the toy tanks oh, rolling yes. out. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a lot of them. Like, I can just imagine. These are like, I don't know if they were like magnetic cars. Like, I... I don't know how the technology works, I think but I just worth, figure them being like dudes underneath a big table with magnets, like pulling these things along. I thought they were RCs. Uh, that was a long time ago, and RC cars were those back then. But that strings, corded. yeah, yeah, yeah. They were corded. So I'm figuring. I just picture it as a guy, these guys under the tables with little like, or it could just be like a little battery operated thing that spins around and you know whatever. But they go exactly where they want. They start shooting at him, and I think it's great because like they're shooting. It looks like. Um, what are they called? Uh, what are the fireworks? At the Roman candles. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're, they're firing Roman candles out of the little tanks, and they're hitting Godzilla. At least the Godzilla screen. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> it's just a big screen, and you see them like bouncing off the screen, but in the completely wrong way. It's so great. <laughs> the, it, it was funny though when he started coming towards the tanks. The tanks then just turned around and went right back to where they came yeah, from. I'm like fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Retreat. So um. <laughs> they're trying to figure out they're like okay we have Godzilla this is a problem we now need something to fight Godzilla because we can't beat him he's already torn up the military base all of the wooden bunkers and all of these small tr- things have been stomped on um, so they have a plan to try to find um, a monster to rival Godzilla um, and they come across this island um, this native island that has this giant uh, his- uh, what do they call it um, a legend of a giant monkey that could fight Godzilla um, and they go to Faro Island, the island of Asian black people. <laughs> There's no other way to describe Man, it. Man, this, this is the most offensive movie ever. <laughs> There's no other way to describe this. Because I was just sitting there going, really? Like, you got a bunch of white people to be in this movie. You couldn't have just gone and got a bunch of black people to be in this movie. Well, you only needed, like, ten of them because you just duplicated all of them anyway. I was thinking about <laughs> that, though. Was this at a time that they still weren't letting blacks into movies like in this? In 1966? Yeah. 62. Oh, 62? Yeah. I'm wondering if that was the case. Uh, Corey, do some homework. By the end of the episode, let us know if black people were allowed to be in movies. Well, they in were, but I'm I'm talking about a non. And I'm talking about that too. 
That's what I'm saying. So you I'm are out. going down the most dangerous road right now. <laughs> that was the only thing I could think of as to why that they would they would do that. No, I can think of why because it was cheaper. Oh uh, well, <laughs> that's the only reason why they were like we yeah. can go get a bunch of black people from somewhere and pay them a bunch of money to come to Japan and film this movie, or we could just slap a bunch of fucking axle grease on some Asian people and call them Africans. Yeah, <laughs> there's your answer. Yeah, that's pretty racist. <laughs> you ain't even got to look it up. This might be racist, but. It it would have been so much funnier if you would have used the N word at the end instead of uh, black people. <laughs> <laughs> so our first vision of uh, of of the island is uh, this rather bust busty um, Asian African lady um, trying to save her kid from a giant octopus. No, no, um, it's not. No, it's not. No, no. What? Whoa, whoa, no, no. No, that came a little bit later. You skipped an entire thing that it was that was big for me. Uh, is the chance? Yeah, we're introduced to the island by the chance. Yeah, the two, the the Asian guys come on and they're they're met by they're met by uh, all these. Um, the natives, I, the island the natives the yeah. natives they all meet them down there at the, the native and bring them the back. native blackenese <laughs> <laughs> and and then they start chanting. <laughs> this is all so racist. It's so funny. It sounds Italian now, all of a sudden. So they're so they're doing that for a while. That's hey, Tony. Quite- <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh so much, but it. It does. <laughs> you might be racist. <laughs> I don't. I will be racist if, if if loving this makes me racist. Then I don't want to be not racist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, they uh, they had the chance and everything else. Then we yeah. Then we have the giant squid that attacks the village. And I remember as a kid that being grossed out by the sounds. Yeah, it was that like this made. nasty, creamy, sucky noise. Oh, yeah, please don't do that. It's quite gross. God, that's, oh god! Then, well, I'm gonna take my headphones off. Then, after a short time of that, I had yeah. I had this bad feeling, like, man, that fucking octopus looks like it's being tortured. Because towards the end of the whole battle, the octopus is like breathing whatever the fuck that was, just like, oh, yeah, oh, I can't breathe. Put me back. Well, I'm sure it didn't water. help the guy in the Kong suit lifting it up and putting it on oh, his, his own head. face yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I I laughed at that. Man, if they made that movie now. Like, oh, dog's purpose wouldn't have been shit. <laughs> yeah, the, and to think though, they probably ate that afterwards. Yeah, I mean that's something they. It's calamari. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh octopus no, it's not. Is not calamari. Calamari. <laughs> octopus is calamari. No, squid is calamari. Octopus is octopus. Wasn't this a squid though? No, it was an. Octopus. It was kind of yeah, it was an octopus. Okay. It was an actual octopus. But they probably still ate it. <laughs> Octopuses are weird animals, man. Yeah. Because you have one vision of what they look like as a kid from all the cartoons and stuff, and then as soon as you see them, like that's fucking gross. You're like that really doesn't look like what I thought it was. No. <laughs> Where's his top hat and bow tie? <laughs> and how come his arms don't go out and do? A yeah. Why thing? doesn't he have like a cane in one of the hands and a harmonica in another one? Can we talk about Kong? About how bad this looked. So yeah, moving. <laughs> Basically, the uh, the villagers are all freaking out because this thing is basically rolling over all the buildings. You know, and apparently there's one kid stuck underneath of it, and the chick who looks to be the princess of the fucking tribe because she's the hottest one out there with the biggest boobs goes c- trying to get in there, and this thing's trying to roll over them. And basically, Kong was just like, "No, <laughs> like the the wall no. that they built was not was useless." Dude, like, okay, no. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm telling you right now. Like this is something I noticed part part of through this movie, and it's what made it so entertaining for me to watch. Kong in this movie, this is like this is like Logan King Kong. 
<laughs> he looks and kind of acts like he's like he's old King Kong. He's just tired of all this <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. All right, give me some shit to drink. I guess I'll save your village if you oh leave me God. drunk. No, no, no. He's like, he's like, I'll be. He's like, I'll kick that thing's ass for you, and he does it. And then afterwards, he's like, fuck you, people. Well, no, just even the way he's kicking <laughs> the ass, is just throwing boulders like it's a pain in the ass to do. You know, like he's <sighs> like he's being bothered and uh, burdened by having to do this, and just the the facial expressions they have of him mm-hmm. with like when his tongue's moving all yeah. around like with the drink stuff like yeah and then and he oh, fuck it i'm just gonna eyes. all right i'm just gonna pass out here and lay down like he's he's old drunk superhero he's a hancock he's a, a <laughs> logan he's like that's what he reminded me of through this whole movie it was so funny to me just reluctantly doing everything against his will just because like it, all of it he looked aggravated <laughs> yeah because like even though he's like got all these things he still has to do the right thing at the end of the day you know <laughs> so he beats the, he he defeats the. Octopus. If you guys would have fucking seen Logan, that would have been such a funnier joke. By the way, <laughs> I've read it, so I understand. I understand your point. Anyway, uh, yeah, he throws boulders at it. He pisses it off. It finally slinks back into the ocean after giving him a couple face hugs. <laughs> yeah, and then he immediately gets drunk and passes yeah, out. He's like, "Oh, look, beer." <laughs> well, here's the thing. Like, so if like you're a giant octopus or another in- monster inhabitant of that. Uh, island, wouldn't you be like, oh yeah, I'll just slink away, wait 10 minutes for him to pass out. Mm-hmm. And then, I mean, you can do anything you want. You can, you know, you can have like a dance and a chant and a, oh, you know, anything you want once he's passed out. That dude sleeps. He has been date raped a time or two, I would imagine. <laughs> I feel you really might, bad for God's you might right need to, You might need to edit that. <laughs> date raping a giant gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> but he, uh, yeah, it was weird because then, yeah, he just like immediately just starts getting drunk. Yeah, he's just like, I'm gonna. Drink what this. is that stuff? It was Jesus juice, wine. It was like it was, orange, though. It was some kind of just berry juice that they probably like. It probably had like poison dart shit in it. <laughs> some kind of fucking. It's so weird, though. Like, island. right? Because that's the thing. That's what really sold the whole old superhero thing yeah. to me was the drinking. Right. It, island Sudafed. <laughs> yeah. Or Xanax. <laughs> Something. <laughs> And then they all start chanting around him. Yeah, they start chanting, doing their little dance I'll thing, about the boat, having a good time, partying a little bit, and I'll about the boat, the boat. they eventually tie his ass down to a giant raft, yank him out to sea, and take him back to Japan. <laughs> yeah, uh, everything's real close to Japan, apparently. <laughs> and yeah, and I, I, I remember uh, the scene of him like waking up and stuff from when I was a kid. When he's on, when he's on the rafts, yeah, and it's on his way because that's what happens, right? They just kind of end up like he just gets off the rafts, like oh fuck, and then well, they see Godzilla. They start to shoot him when he's on the raft, and it blows up the raft, and then he ends up coming. He ends up going underwater and coming back out oh, of the right. water. You, you know, gorillas can't swim, right? They can't hold their breath. I'm just, I, I didn't write this movie. I'm just telling you, like that's a thing. Like that's why you don't see very many monkeys swimming because they don't know how to hold their breath. <laughs> so. That was Vic that said that. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted this, to clarify. This entire episode is going to be very, very just on the edge. <laughs> Completely. Jimmy just race. Corey biting his tongue. <laughs> He's like, I want to say it, but I can't. What do you think about that, Corey? <laughs> By the way, that's our new thing that we're going to do is because I feel like Corey's not carrying his weight as much with the Survivor Series episodes. I feel like he's using it as a shield to hide his horribleness so he doesn't have to face the loser game show sound. So I'm going to exploit that and make him be part of the show. If I feel like he's not contributing enough, I will just randomly say, what did you think about that, Corey? And that's how you guys know I'm calling him out. All right, Vic, what happens (laughs) next after they get King Kong... Big monkey ass back over so to Japan. So they get his big monkey ass back over to Japan. And in the meantime, they're trying... Uh, what are they... It's like the uh, the Japanese something defense force. is. They're, they're tasked with trying to stop Godzilla from destroying Japan. And uh, they basically come up with several... A couple ideas of how they can try to stop him. Um, one is they dig a gigantic hole... And and sucker him in falling into it, <laughs> thinking that uh, maybe this will work. I know, and I believe I believe if that didn't work, they were then going to paint a fake tunnel on the side <laughs> of a cliff and make him think they all ran through. Yeah, it. <laughs> or try to drop a giant anvil on his head. 
Well, they 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 would have they would have gone right to the explosives, but Acme was a little delayed on getting them their equipment. <laughs> they so. couldn't get quite that many explosives in the one shipment. Yeah. <laughs> so when that doesn't work, because Godzilla fucking climbed out of a oh, out of a giant iceberg, Godzilla! they're like, "Well, let's try electrocuting him." The the, the dinosaur thing yeah. that spits electricity. Yeah. <laughs> like that, that's a really smart idea. Yeah, it's like, okay, y'all knew this motherfucker's name yeah. when he came up. Like, you didn't know he's been doing this electronic breathing fire shit. Well, at some point, you'd think that the Japanese would have been like, hey, we know Godzilla's out there somewhere. We should probably start figuring out a way to actually stop him between attacks. Yeah. <laughs> like, we don't know where he's been. He's been gone for like 10 it's years. It's one of those things you put off, Vic. It's like <laughs> taking down your Christmas tree. Like, You're just like, ah, I get it. And then before you know it, it's, you know, March. Out of sight, out of mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Until he pops the fuck out of an iceberg and attacks your city, huh? <laughs> so they can't really figure out the best way to get him. Um, so <clears throat> they just start, um, they, they start trying to hit him with berry juice. They're like, here, drink the Jesus juice. Maybe it'll knock you out like Godzilla. <laughs> Kong. Oh, it's Godzilla. Yeah, like Kong. Sorry, like Kong. I apologize. But uh, yeah, so they just start throwing Jesus juice at him because that's, that's, that's what that stuff has got to be. <laughs> and Godzilla's like, oh, <laughs> just, this shit just makes me crunk. Wakes out his cane <laughs> and his giant golden goblet. <laughs> Starts having at it. <laughs> oh, y'all gonna throw liquor at me, huh? <laughs> My fuckers, I showed up drunk. <laughs> I haven't been sober. Yet. Oh my god! <laughs> no, now I love imagining. I love imagining Kong as this old Logan type superhero, bitter, you know, jaded character, yeah. and Godzilla as just like this, almost like a Z's and sorry from Parks and Recreation type of over the top, <laughs> just gangster character. <laughs> Just like OG. I, by your definition, I'm picturing Godzilla sitting in like his giant cave on a ch- like a reclining like chair. He's like, like Tupac and above the rim. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, they just keep calling him. Kong <laughs> comes up to Godzilla and Godzilla just pulls a razor blade out of his own. <laughs> I'll cut a bitch. I'll catch you. God damn shame what happened to Flip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And of course, uh, as always, we can... Uh, Hang on. It's Pause worth it. for you to find the sound effect. Yeah, I got to delete some shit. All right, never mind. Go ahead. Anyway, Vic. So, uh, when the Jesus juice doesn't really work, it just kind of... Oh, hold on. Uh, Get about nutso. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Get about nutso. That's what we waited on? Yes. <laughs> it's part of that movie. <laughs> it's a shame about what happened to Flip. <laughs> That's nutso. No. Is that better for you? All right, That's go right. ahead. <laughs> Back into the right movie. Yes. So uh, they get frustrated. They don't know what to do next. So they're just like, fuck it. Let's just drop God- uh, King Kong next to Godzilla and see oh, what happens. It's Godzilla! They were fucked up. They dropped King Kong and they were just like, yo, what's up? And just I fucking like... turned around and busted up the whole thing. No, yeah, they started. They were like, <laughs> why are we fighting each other? Yeah. We could just split the planet. Be like, did those bitches shoot at you? He's like, yeah, did they shoot at you? Like, yeah, like, fuck it. Let's yeah, they shot at me, but they gave me liquor, so it was cool. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. like, yeah, they tried to give me that shit. Hey, too. you think they got any more of that? <laughs> I like how they airlifted King Kong, though. It was by, like, a bunch of balloons. Using the, the string. string. The ultra strong. Yeah. <laughs> it all comes around, Corey. It was still Yet funny. they had to build a draft on drum to get him off. Hey, that. Get back, get back, get <laughs> it's still funny as hell to see, though. Because he's just sitting there. He's like, do 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 Flying. So they drop uh, King Kong down into it next to Godzilla, and they're like, fuck it. Let him fight. Let him destroy each other. And then we'll be rid of both of them. Even though they, they inflicted uh, King oh, Kong on wait. themselves. <laughs> they what? At this point, so if, if King Kong eliminates Godzilla, they oh, still have to deal with, with King Kong. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, your idea is null and void. Like, this is the dumbest You're idea You're praying ever. that the two of them kill each other at the same time. Right, right. There needs to be, like, a double KO. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Godzilla and uh, King Kong have it out. There's an epic battle. Um, King Kong is just throwing shit at Godzilla like crazy, kicking him, hitting him. Uh, Godzilla is like blowing his fire breath on him, which is never actually on fire until after it hits him. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say that. I mean, it's... And technically, it's supposed to be nuclear breath. 
Is that so what it is? Not, is not that fire, what it is? It's, he fires nuclear beam out of his mouth. So it's supposed to be nuclear radiated energy. I thought he just had catches, dragon breath. No, which then catches things on fire. Hold on, hold on, Vic. Hold on. Did you hear that? <laughs> dragon breath? I was trying not to. I was trying not to hear it. <laughs> that was good. I'm sorry. <laughs> not a dragon. He's close enough. Uh, okay. It's a lizard. All right. All lizards are dragons, apparently. <laughs> yep. Um, what the fuck were we talking? See how you just derailed <laughs> everything, the, the, the whole track. show. He was talking about the two of them fighting them and fighting. blowing his dragon breath on him. Oh, yeah, and how the costume just was like, they, they just singed it. Well, it was funny because he was just like, what the fuck is that? God, <laughs> well, that stinks. Like, like, King Kong was just like unaffected by it altogether. But when it hit the trees behind him, they just ignited in the flames. So, like, apparently King Kong is fireproof in some way, shape, or form because he just thought it stunk and then he just kind of fumed up a little bit, I guess, or singed him, like you said. Yeah, because he was just like, he was just like, whatever, dude, this this ain't going to do it. It ain't going to stop me. And then he gets knocked down and Godzilla just starts whooping his ass. And he just starts tail pounding his ass. Yeah. <laughs> he just starts hitting him. And I, was it before or after that? The, the, uh, no, it was before that because he tripped him the first time. He fell down the hill. And as he was sliding down the hill, he hit Godzilla mm-hmm. and knocked him over. But at that very moment is when they decided to use miniatures. <laughs> Did you notice the conversion? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was so great. Yeah. <laughs> and there's another scene where he goes rolling rolling away, and they use miniatures for that, too. It was just cracking me up because the transitions were so <laughs> incredibly horrible. But the fight goes on. Godzilla starts just raffle stomping the hell out of uh, King Kong. And then he just starts burying him. Like, he starts doing his little I'm happy clappy thing and then, like, kicking backwards. And like, like he does look like dirt. a maniac. Yeah, though. he goes crazy, and he starts just get like back kicking like rocks and boulders on top of Godzilla. I mean, on top of King Kong, and King Kong's oh, eyes are just doing this out. like I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> They're just rolling around in his head, and then he's just laying there, yeah. and uh, then somehow they get the idea to electrocute him, right? Who Kong? Because Kong gets During knocked down, and they Godzilla beats the shit out of him. He tail pounds him. Right. And then what well, happens? Tri- he gets up and tries to pull. Like He gets up and tries to swing him by his tail. Okay. He gets up out of the, out of the dirt, tries to swing him by his tail, and he throws him. Um, and then Godzilla gets up and goes haywire again. I don't remember them electrocuting him. Did they do that? Did well, he gets point? electrocuted somehow, because that's how he gets his power. At the end. No, 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 Godzilla. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought you were talking about King Kong. I am. No, it wasn't King Kong. It was Godzilla got electrified by the storm cloud. He got hit with lightning by the storm cloud. But Kong cloud. does too. Well, at... they're fighting each other, but that's that's what... No, Ritter Kong does. has the electric powers at the end. You don't remember that? Where he's just grabbing him and... No. Bruh. That's... I have that movie. I do not remember that at all. Did I look away? Uh, so I am going to concede the point to the uh, distinguished gentleman across the table. Thank you, sir. As uh, I was corrected um, on the fact that Godzilla was actually electrocharged. Um, apparently, he did not use his downy. King Kong <laughs> oh, got electrocuted. Yes, King Kong mm-hmm. got electrocuted by the lightning storm, which then gave him static power. In which he grabs on to King Kong's tail, which is what I thought was happening. With he King is like Kong. Peter Griffin in the footy pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking King Kong grabbed his tail, and, and Godzilla was like, "Fuck that electric power!" And like, but now, him. yeah, no, it's but you were you were correct, sir. I give you another. And right before that, that's when like he, you know, he's getting his ass whooped. Yeah, and. Uh... <laughs> King Kong got roasted. <laughs> King Kong roasted. <laughs> King Kong got roasted. <laughs> Which I like to just imagine Godzilla was just like, Ah, oh, look at those! What are those? What are those? <laughs> so, with Your his... mama's so fat. <laughs> King Kong got roasted. <laughs> just went into the 50s. <laughs> King Kong, you look like, uh, I don't know, King Kong with AIDS. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a good roast joke. Anything with AIDS is always funny. Um... Uh, Speaking of which, there was something that just reminded me of something, and now I forgot it. Okay. Great King Kong got roasted. Sorry, go ahead. So, uh, after King Kong... Badass fight, by the way. Yes. Like, you can just look up this fight. His fights become legendary, because you have, like, the house thing where they're just... 
Yeah, they 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 destroy this. Uh, what is it? Atami Castle. They just completely like plow the whole fucking nineteen. Well, they're not. The thing is, they're not castle. even like swinging at each other yeah. at that point. Like you're just like, oh, you motherfuckers are just. Well, at one point, like King Kong just runs up a hill. Like he's just like fuck you and runs up the hill, like stomping on everything possible <laughs> well, to get up to the top of the hill and starts throwing rocks. So like it's just that's just the, way the best part is when he pulls up the tree and tries to shove it down Godzilla's <laughs> mouth. Because <laughs> then it's just actors in a suit, and it felt like it felt like that was real. <laughs> he and he uses that same tactic on another dinosaur in the in the uh, in the, uh, the the movie that comes after it. So they actually, they actually King Kong got roasted. <laughs> So they got uh, after he gets re-energized by the lightning bolt. He, uh, him, and Godzilla are back toe to toe. They're scrapping it out. They're throwing. They're ducking dodges. Bows are flying. They get tangled up and they fall off a fucking cliff. <laughs> after all this, they fall off a cliff. They both land in the water. They end up under the water. Everyone's just like, "What the fuck's going on? Um, who? Wh- I don't know. Like, I don't know what, what, what what's going to happen." And then. Up comes uh, King Kong. <laughs> and he just swims the fuck away. <laughs> He's like, I'm done. Yeah. Fuck you all. I'm done. And he swims off into the into the sunset. But I thought, I thought monkeys couldn't swim. And again, thank you for bringing my point back up. Um, Godzilla's nowhere to be found. Like, these motherfuckers have to remember, Godzilla comes from underwater. If he just disappeared, he's going to pop the fuck back up again. <laughs> He just got under the water and was like, fuck it, I'm out. And yeah, that, it did seem like they just threw everything in the closet and called the house clean. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what they did fifty five, like in, in 55 when they buried him in the ice flow. <laughs> He's going to pop back up again, just like always. So, But that's the end of the movie. <laughs> that's just how it ends. <laughs> and, and Kong, Kong walks off in the, in the ocean to the uh, the Incredible Hulk music. <laughs> the sad Hulk music. The sad Hulk music. <laughs> King you know, Kong got roasted. You know, Corey, would have been really good is if you actually had that music queued up and ready to go. Yeah, no, if I had a soundboard. You. <laughs> yeah, if you did something productive for the show. If, if you only had a phone, just like uh, Brad's over there. Yeah, that's true. It's amazing. King Kong got roasted. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so it's funny. The greatest thing ever. I'm going to get that sound clip. That's exactly what it sounds like he says. There's I'm like, going to get that sound clip at some point and then just whatever. I'm just destroying Corey for like a majority of an episode just I'll, I'll towards the end. Yeah, did, well, did you just pull that from uh, from, from the movie? From you? Well, I was just playing it off YouTube. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll pull, I'll pull it down. And yeah, apart. please do. Because then whenever I'm like just destroying Corey, you can just add a King Kong got roasted. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, we can record ourselves just doing it. It sounds better. <laughs> King Kong got roasted. Ah, it's so funny. I don't know why. Just because it's because of the way that, like, they just the way they're looking. And you know, you know that that's not what they said, but it sounds just so incredibly like that's and like the. And it, it's so great. And it, well, yeah, it's like situational too because yeah. you know they have it's right there. As King Kong's getting his ass whipped, so yeah. right. and he got fire breathed on him, right. so it kind of makes sense on all <laughs> levels. Mm-hmm. King Kong got roasted. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that brings us to the end of the movie, actually. And, and like I said, it, I can't tell you who the fuck was in this movie because they're all people I've never heard of before. Um, so even the American actors, which I don't even see as listed. Oh, <laughs> that's who's in the movie. There you go. That's all that matters. Godzilla and King Kong. And we are going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. You are listening to the Showdown Podcast. After these messages, we'll be right back. Yeah. It's commercial time. Corey. Yes. Go ahead. All right. Tell people where they can find you. You can find me on Twitter. Corey got roasted. <laughs> Vic, go ahead. I have to laugh at that. It's too good. Uh, you can find me on social media as MillerKing51. And you can also find me on all gaming platforms. That's Black and Angry. That's B-L-A-Q and Angry. All right, Corey. All right. You can find me on Corey Twitter. got roasted again. You can find me at bradscottcomedy.com or on Twitter and Instagram at bradscottcomedy, comedian Brad Scott on Facebook. Check out 
The Showdown Pod on Twitter and Instagram at The Showdown Pod and The Showdown Podcast on Facebook. Click like somebody should. Check out WrestleMania. Brad and his best friend Brent Terhune talk about their favorite uh, love besides comedy, pro wrestling. It's not pro wrestling talk. It's sports entertaining. WrestleMania available on iTunes, Stitcher, and Podomatic. You can also find uh, Corey and myself at the Miller Times Podcast online, social media, Miller Times Pod. Yeah, you got it right. Yeah, I know. I time. get it right. No, the second time. You said, really? you said at the Miller Times Podcast. But anyway, I digress. That did not come out of my mouth. Yeah, it did kind of. Go back and listen to the replay. The Miller Times Podcast is the name of the show. And then I gave the social media link. Cody got roasted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, for real. All right, you can find me on Twitter. And let's get back to the show. <laughs> Welcome back to the Showdown Podcast. What is this? It's called King Kong. That's just the name of the song? Mm-hmm. Jibs featuring Chameleoner. Jibs. Jibs. Jibs featuring Chameleoner. Got to make sure to clarify, enunciate that. Um, is that with a Z? Yes. No, with Bs. Jibs, not jizz. Not jizz. <laughs> oh, yeah, no S. Uh, so, we're talking King Kong versus Godzilla. And uh, I think we all know how Corey's going to vote. Uh, oh, do you know? Uh, I think so. Go ahead, Corey. Okay. Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, this was the first time I watched it. Um, and while it was the weirdest way I've ever seen a movie... Uh, in in terms of the audio and the subtitles, um, I have to say I wanted to kind of like it just for uh, the oddness of it, just for the you know the people in suits and whatnot. But it just it, for me, I I can't get I can't get behind it. I, it just didn't do anything for me. I actually at one point, <laughs> at, at, shocking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Well, at one point, I just kind of got bored with it. Really. I literally said early. Remember when I said earlier in the show, you're tipping your hand? Yep. <laughs> Shocking, I was right. <laughs> but I may not have gone that way. You never know. No, I knew by what you were saying earlier. Apparently, he did. <laughs> and I'm guessing the audience <laughs> picked up on it, too. It's fucking so, psychic. If you wouldn't have pointed it out, they may not have oh, noticed. Oh, it was your fault. All right. I, I'm going to go next. Uh, I, I still liked it, man. It, it was a lot of it was nostalgic because again, I loved that movie as a kid and I hadn't seen it since I was a kid, but I enjoyed it. I, I liked it. Uh, I had fun with it and, uh, yeah, I, it survived for me because it brought back a lot of nostalgic feelings and it was so bad. It was good to me. <laughs> that makes me the, uh, the swing vote, I guess. Um, and I can tell you, I started out watching this movie and I was just like, ugh. I remember watching this movie. I remember thinking it was pretty good. I remember like having fun watching it just because it was King Kong versus Godzilla, mm-hmm. and I love gorillas, as you all know. So like, I was all kinds of with it. <clears throat> and then I started watching it and remembered how bad it was. But then, now this is the kicker. After talking about it today, I didn't realize how much I actually enjoyed watching this fucking movie. I was actually against this movie when we walked in here today. But after talking about it and actually discussing all the shit about it, realized how much fun I actually did have watching this movie. So, uh, I say it makes it. Wow. It's Godzilla! King Kong got roasted! <laughs> uh, that's awesome, yeah. It survives. You hear that, Corey? I hear it. Do you know what that you know what means? means, Corey? Yeah. Do you know what that means, Corey? Uh-huh. Come on, Corey, say it. Nope. Say it. Come on, Corey. Corey. Say it. Not gonna do, do it. it, Corey. What does it mean, Corey? Corey. 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 I don't know. Corey. Don't, don't make us roast you. Don't you disappoint Queen Bay. It goes into the Showdown Hall of Fame, Corey. It's a survivor. Corey is not digging it. Not at all. You know, I'm thinking. I don't. I can't remember the. What the last one was that I actually said should be. I don't know either, but... I think I keep turning them all down. 
Yeah, because you're a jaded old man. <laughs> you're Logan without the good looks or uh, claws. <laughs> you're King Kong when he first when he first when they first came. <laughs> King Kong the Austin. <laughs> God, that will never get old to me. It will not. I'm sure it's already old to the people listening. Yeah. It's not going to ever get old to me. Yeah. Welcome to hearing this for the next five episodes. I feel like every other episode we find something that just becomes part of the lexicon. It yeah. does, yeah. <laughs> I mean... And, and, and I think that's okay. If if nothing else, we've got this, Jim. God damn it. Why do they keep turning my... <laughs> All right, so it survives. King Kong versus Godzilla goes into our Showdown Hall of Fame. Uh, you might think it's a strange selection, but go fuck yourself. Uh, go watch the movie. You'll have fun watching it. That's all we're saying. We're not saying it's a great movie. We're saying you'll have fun watching it. And so... Um, I don't know. Maybe if I was sitting around drinking or something, that may have changed the feelings towards it a little oh, bit. Oh, now you're backpedaling. Now, no, then, then, no. He, then he would have forgotten to talk about, like... <laughs> the giant spider at the end. I was going to go the octopus, but... Yeah. <laughs> That was actually in the movie. And has eight legs, so it would have been a good connection. But it survives. So, um, I don't know. Uh, do we have anything left to talk about? I don't think there's much. Nope. No, that's the show? I think that's where we, I think that's where we end it. That's where we end it. Um, all right. Well, I can't think of a better way to go out than... In honor of King Kong vs. Godzilla being a movie that the showdown approves of. <laughs> Wait, uh, did Wolver- X-Men Origins Wolverine get... That didn't survive, did it? Uh, no, Origins no. did not. <laughs> Neither did Fletch, did it? It did for me. I don't know about everybody. Else. It didn't for me. Dude, where's my car? Didn't... <laughs> oh, that's, a kind of bad, that's not a good one to use. Yeah. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation did not survive, did it? Oh, it did not. <laughs> How do you feel if you're Chevy Chase right now? Right? You know, <laughs> sitting there next to it, like he's probably you know out by a pool, I would imagine, having a nice drink, and then somebody comes up and they're like, oh, Chevy, you didn't hear? Yeah, the showdown put King Kong versus Godzilla into the Hall of Fame. And he's like, what? What? No, they, they didn't put Christmas Vacation in. Are you sure? Go back and check again. And then the person goes back and they re-listen to the episode and they come back and go, oh, sure enough, Chevy, they did. Uh, they said the reasoning was because King Kong got roasted. <laughs> this has been the Showdown Podcast for Corey Miller. Yep. Vic Miller. Yep. No relation. I'm Brad Scott. Uh, thank you for listening. Please rate, review, all that good stuff on iTunes. And we'll talk to you later. King Kong got roasted. King Kong got roasted, y'all! Now, Godzilla! Godzilla. You can pretend Godzilla turns a mighty castle into a pile of sand. Don't do it, Godzilla! You control Godzilla's ugly tongue. You can make him stomp, pound his tail, pretending he strikes it all in his way. You can launch Godzilla's claw for the final blow. We did it! What will Godzilla do next? It's up to you. Godzilla with a claw that launches some assembly required from the Shogun Warrior Collection by Mattel.